How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to talk about the three best VPNs for your iPhone if you're looking for a VPN for your iPhone. Now, of course, you know, these VPNs, all these VPNs, be it Express, Nord, or Surfshark, they're all available for most devices. So I know I'm talking about the iPhone and I know I'm on PC, but rest assured that all these VPNs are available on almost every single modern device you can think of, be it a Fire Stick, um, iOS, um, your Android device, uh, you know, Mac, PC, Linux, um, your smart TV even. So yeah, just know that all these VPNs are incredibly compatible with nearly all devices that you can think of. So let's just get that out of the way. Now, what I'm going to be talking about uh, in this video is obviously the features that come with these VPNs and what you could be missing if you're on iPhone. Because, you know, typically because of the, um, let's say the hardware infrastructure and how uh, non-open source Apple uh, devices can be, it, uh, you know, it leaves out some features when it comes to uh, software applications and it's no different with VPN. So uh, just know that some features will not be available uh, on iPhone when they might be available on Android. And I'll get into all of that. Now, before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. Okay, so let me start with ExpressVPN. Now, with ExpressVPN, and I have spoken to uh, the live chat support to confirm everything, prior to making this video. So rest assured, all of this information is as updated as it can be. Okay, so with ExpressVPN, uh, first of all, you have uh, over 3000 servers in 94 countries, and you'll be able to secure up to five devices with a single account. Now, generally, you will get your split tunneling and a kill switch uh, with uh, ExpressVPN, except that on the iPhone, you won't be able to get split tunneling. Now, what is the kill switch and what is split tunneling? All right, briefly speaking, the kill switch will make sure that your internet will be disconnected if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. This will make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet if you're secured by the VPN, otherwise your internet connection will get cut. Okay, let me just turn this off. So if I go ahead and turn this uh, kill switch on and then turn on my VPN, if my VPN happens to lose connection, it will also cut my internet connection to prevent any leaks. Split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So this can be very useful uh, for the most part on PC, uh, but it also can be very useful on your uh, mobile phone if the feature is available. So let's say you want to connect to your VPN uh, to uh, maybe protect your device, maybe you're on public Wi-Fi and whatnot, but you don't want your actual location to be changed. So uh, yeah, you can kind of um, have the maps, the Google Maps application, for example, bypass the VPN tunnel so that it doesn't uh, change to whatever VPN server you choose. So yeah, this is a pretty useful feature. And usually split tunneling uh, features are, you know, they allow you to choose applications to bypass the VPN rather than choosing applications to uh, use the VPN while leaving the rest of your connection untouched by the VPN tunnel. Now on the iPhone, you will get uh, the kill switch, but you won't be getting split tunneling. So keep that in mind. Uh, and in order to get the kill switch, you will have to use the Lightway UDP. Now on Android, you can use whatever protocol and you'll still be able to get that kill switch. But on iPhone, according to ExpressVPN themselves, you must use Lightway in order to have access to the network lock, which is also known as the kill switch. Okay, so that'll be it for ExpressVPN. All right, now with NordVPN, you've got over 5,200 servers in 60 countries. And, uh, you know, NordVPN is going to be the cheaper option here, but not cheap in performance or features for that matter. Now, in terms of privacy, I would give the title to ExpressVPN. In terms of features and performance, I'll give the title the, or the trophy or the prize, let's say, to NordVPN. Uh, but if you're looking for the best cheapest option, let's say the most budget friendly option that gets the job done without 
exactly sacrificing much on um, privacy, security, or performance for that matter. You're not sacrificing that much. You are sacrificing a little bit, but not that much. It's not really a deal breaker. So the best budget VPN is Surfshark. The best value VPN is definitely NordVPN. And the best for privacy, security, and ease of use is definitely ExpressVPN, especially when it comes to unblocking streaming services. Now, NordVPN is going to be your best option for uh, features. Again, you're going to get specialty servers. You're going to have CyberSec, which is an ad blocker. NordLynx, the powerful NordLynx, a true WireGuard protocol, which is super quick, making NordVPN uh, the fastest VPN on the market today, arguably the fastest. Not only do you have an internet kill switch, but also an app kill switch, though this is not on, this is on neither uh, Android nor iPhone is just on a PC. Uh, you do get split tunneling, advanced custom DNS servers. On PC, you also get split tunneling as well as custom DNS and obfuscated servers. Okay, now what do you get on iPhone when it comes to NordVPN? You're gonna get your kill switch, your ad blocker, custom DNS, Siri shortcuts and auto connect, um, as well as all of the specialty servers, you know, dedicated IP, on in over VPN, uh, double VPN, um, obfuscated servers, peer-to-peer -peer servers, as well as obviously all of the standard servers. And the only thing that's going to be missing is the split tunneling feature. So you're getting a lot of features still, uh, even though a lot of other VPNs may uh, remove these features on uh, iOS devices, but NordVPN is really just supplying you with a bunch of features regardless. So great stuff overall. The only thing that's missing is the split tunneling feature. And you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. So that's one more device over um, ExpressVPN. All right, so moving on to Surfshark. And uh, you're going to get all of the features that you get with PC and Android. So that's going to include the specialty servers here, which is multi-hop or double VPN, as well as static IP. Uh, and you're also going to get, if we go to VPN settings here, you will get your auto connect features. You'll get clean web, which is the ad blocker. You're gonna get the kill switch, a handful of protocols, including the WireGuard protocol. You're not gonna get the bypasser though. No bypasser on the iPhone. It is available on Android, but unfortunately it is not available on your iOS. And there's another feature called override GPS features, uh, which will make your GPS think that you are in the location of your VPN server, which is not available on your uh, iOS device, unfortunately. Now, typically your GPS will still take the location, but some phones may still choose to remain uh, on your uh, real location. So this is just a kind of a safety measure sort of feature that overrides your GPS location in case your GPS chose to stick to uh, your real location. And you have over 3,200 servers in 65 countries. And the cool thing about Surfshark is that you're gonna be able to uh, secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, which makes it a very nice choice for people that have a lot of devices. Okay, so again, you're going to be getting all the features. The only thing that you're going to be missing with all of these VPNs is split tunneling. So you don't get split tunneling on iOS. Uh, with Surfshark, again, you're losing out on override GPS, which honestly really isn't a uh, big of a deal for, in my opinion. With ExpressVPN, ExpressVPN is already a VPN without too many features, but you're gonna be losing out on split tunneling again, um, and the kill switch will only be available on Lightweight, uh, the Lightweight protocol. And with NordVPN, you're just gonna be losing out on split tunneling and you will get the uh, biggest number of features, really. It's a lot of features, especially if you're on iOS, um, on an iOS device, you're gonna find that most VPNs are lacking in features, but NordVPN brings a whole lot to the table, even on your iOS, so great stuff overall. So again, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs with regards to their privacy policies, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And keep in mind that all these VPNs do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if I go ahead and try to get ExpressVPN here, it's the same with Nord and Surfshark. They do have a 30 day money back guarantee on all of the plans and 24 seven live chat support to help you with your refund if you are interested. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, comment below if you 
you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.